Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm Natasha Martinez. Playwright and screenwriter Tanya Saracho is one of the leading Latinas behind the camera in Hollywood today. Her impressive resume includes writing and producing credits for hit shows like How to Get Away with Murder, Devious Maze, and Looking. Tanya was born in Sinaloa, Mexico, and came of age as a Chicago playwright who seamlessly transitioned into television, where she has not only excelled in the writer's room, but she's been chosen as one of the few Latina showrunners in television for a possible upcoming Stars Network production. Coming up, she shares her secrets for success right here on American Latino TV. My name is Tanya Saracho. I am, uh, well, I was saying I'm a playwright who writes for television, but, uh, but I'm also a TV producer. Well, those shelves aren't too sturdy. They keep putting them up and taking them down, so of course they're gonna be loose. You speak English. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> I got to this country, like, in junior high, and I, I, I knew English, but I didn't know all the slang, and I was like, I need, like, speech therapy. They were making fun of my accent, and I saw a, a poster on TV that said speech and debate. I just didn't see the speech and debate part, and I was like, I think they'll get rid of my accent. So I signed up, and then they kept giving me short stories and, like, Roald Dahl poems, and they were like, do the voices, and do... So I would... Um, I thought that was my speech therapy to get rid of the, you know, the accents. I didn't understand what was happening, you know? So then that led to like, oh, I'm really good at voices. Oh, I should join the drama because all those same kids in speech and debate were in drama. That's, it just kind of happened, you know? I mean, like, the, like the, that, because I was trying to get rid of my accent. My early things were about my grandma, my mom, like it, they were about Mexico. Now they're blended, like you're saying this blended identity. But, um, but I do think it's because that was fomented on the border. Sometimes they don't let you speak it at work. Oh, well I guess that's true. But she would rather struggle with her broken English than answer me in Spanish when it's obviously easier for her? I mean, that's bizarre. Sorry, but what do you mean it was obvious? What was obvious? Uh, you said you spoke Spanish to her because it was obvious that she spoke Spanish? What does that mean? Like she looked like she spoke Spanish. Like I look. Like we look. I wanted to trap and fade uh, class and um, race the way we sometimes import it from Mexico and we put it in these spaces, you know, when we are, when we are with each other and like the prejudices we have against each other. Sit. Grab a pizza. Yes, you have time for one slice. And that late before it gets inevitably cold. You know, one day they're gonna catch me sitting and it's not you, they're gonna fire. Oh, please, I'm not gonna let anybody fire you. Now, do you like mushroom? Because this is mushroom. And the other side is like barbecue chicken. Is it mushroom or is it barbecue chicken? It's both. You're so not a Mexican eating pizza. She sees a janitor and he's brown skinned and she's like, speak some Spanish. Well, don't do that, <laughs> you know? I expect non-Latinos to assume, but like, you're my people, why are you assuming? But then the whole play unpacks that. Like, wait, I did assume, why did I assume? You know, like it, it, it takes, it's just a two-hander. This is what brown looks like. It looks like a lot of things. So actually I think it's a great responsibility, but it's a great power too that we have. You know when the rumblings, like the, mm, it feels like it's coming. We're do it, you know? Um, just, we're, our stories are worth it. It just, they have to realize that. Our, our stories are worth te telling. You're Mexican, right? Yeah. Uh, from Mexico, born there? Yeah. Raised in a specific kind of way? What do you mean? <laughs> the way you talk. What, like I have an accent? No, no, I just, I recognize the way you talk in Spanish. I, I waited tables for a while and uh, we always knew what kind of Mexicans it was when, uh, you know, we heard their little fresita accent. Yeah.